Welcome guys to another Destiny video and today I am going to be discussing my final thoughts, my hopes for Destiny 2, and a final farewell to the original game that I truly had a good time playing. So first off I would just like to say I am really really excited for Destiny 2. Like really really excited. I was playing around with the beta both on the Xbox and the PC and I am very very happy with the way it just everything's kind of turning and working it all just I don't know it feels a lot more kind of smooth like a well done game that Destiny 1 should have been but Bungie quite couldn't like get but they seem to very easily like put the pieces together after all these years and bada bing bada boom we have the final product we as Destiny fans have been wanting for all these years and I'm I'm really happy, really really happy that this is the way it's all working. Like they're they've been listening to our feedback with like sticky grenades, shoulder charge, blank, just unbalanced things in general. And the beta overall, besides a few weapons, um, seemed pretty balanced. Like you could use almost anything, except sidearms were pretty terrible and grenade launchers. I didn't have a lot of luck with, but other than that, it was it was great. I really did enjoy myself playing the beta, and the one pet peeve that was addressed in the um, PvE was the heavy ammo spawns, and obviously the supers in both PvE and PvP just took too long to get, no matter how many kills you could do, and there was nothing you could do on, based on your armor set to increase your, you know, supercharge. But they did address it, and it was fixed with the PC beta, which is only out for like two days unless you pre-ordered it. I didn't. I was going to make a video on it, but I um, I didn't get a chance to because I I thought it was uh, still open till the 31st, and I was I was very sad when I got on today and realized I couldn't play it. It said uninstall, and I was like, oh, that's depressing. But moving on. Um, so once again, really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be great. If you still, uh, you know, reserved about it, you know, it's going to be out in six days, so you don't have to wait that long if you don't want to pre-order it, and you can watch, you know, Twitch streams or YouTube videos and, you know, kind of move on from there. But overall, I really enjoyed the new um, abilities that the Titans and the Warlocks and the Hunters had. It all, it all felt like that their, like, class abilities really suited them as a class, like the Titan was a pretty good, you know, support. Warlocks were great at, you know, healing and doing uh, uh, weapon damage, even though that really didn't do much. I, I think it was like one or two damage increase. Like, I didn't I didn't see anything. But uh, in Hunters, you know how they're kind of like the rogue. They had like a perk that kind of benefited themselves, where the Warlocks and Titans favor more towards team synergy, where the Hunter can basically go off and do whatever he wants and still work very, very well. I thought it played very nicely with that uh, sense of play style. Um, but still, I know I've said this before, really looking forward to the game, and very, very happy with the way the beta turned out. Now for Destiny 1, um, I truly did have a fantastic time playing that game. I have dumped so many hours, so, so many hours into that game. It is, it is un unreal. I remember when it first came out on the Xbox One, it was, uh, it was my brother's birthday, and his birthday was in September. And we ended up getting it, I think, like a week after the game came out. I didn't, I really didn't, you know, know too much about the Destiny beta at that time. I was like, oh, the Destiny 2 beta is a thing, or Destiny 1 beta is a thing, and I didn't play it. Um, I, I saw a little bit of gameplay here and there, but I never got into it. And then my brother, it was, his birthday came around, and uh, the guy at GameStop was like, hey, I think you should get Destiny over, I think it was like Titanfall. Um, and so. My mom was there, and she was like, oh, all right, well, I mean, how do you think, do you think you'll like Destiny? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I think it'll be fine. And I heard, it's, you know, a space RPG game where you get to shoot a bunch of aliens. So I, um, I was like, yeah, sure, why not? And we ended up getting it, and I ended up playing it way more than he ever did, <laughs> um, to be honest. He played it for a while, and then after he got bored, I was like, hey, you mind if I play? And he's like, yeah, sure, dude, I really, really don't. You know, he was fine playing like the computer or whatever, whatever he did at the time. Um, I think he was into Call of Duty or something like that. But, anyways, I really, really grew an attachment to this game and the player base. It was just 
absolutely fantastic. I had so many fond memories and experiences from the first few days I started playing it to the very last days. I remember vividly the, the, the fun and the anger <laughs> and the frustration but the, the good and bad times all around, it's still just, it's good memories because you spent them all with friends, you had a fantastic time, and I, you know, I wouldn't trade it for, for you know, <laughs> a lot of things. I mean, there obviously is a few things I would trade it for, but, you know, the experiences that, that you got with, with friends and and going through like a nightfall and beating it for the first time and going through a raid and getting your first you know exotic and I just I remember I remember the day the first exotic I ever got was I was playing the vault of glass and we got to the Gorgon's labyrinth and I remember I was being I was being carried because I think I was like a like level 25 26 I was not I wasn't that good but I was a warlock and I and I had the radiant subclass up and I remember when you used to you know throw the Templar off the cliff, throw Atheon off the cliff, and I remember those so, so well. And the first team I ever had, I, I don't think I actually got their um, gamer tags, which I regret to this day, but the first raid team I ever had was comprised of randoms, and we cleared the vault, and it was a blast. I had so much fun. I remember I got the Vision of Confluence, that cool-looking Sparrow, that Shader, and it was it was just great. And I think the first armor piece I ever got out of the vault was actually the gloves. I think the Hezen Lords for the Hezen gloves for the for the warlock. I think. And the very first vault weapon was the Praetis Revenge, which I had a lot of fun messing around with in the Crucible. And it was just, it was just a lot of fun. And then I got the Suros out of the Gorgon Vault um, chest when we were in the labyrinth, and that's what I was alluding to. And it took forever to get there, but. I got the Cerus Regime when it was the meta weapon back in the day, and I had a lot of fun in the Crucible, just absolutely melting people with it. And I wasn't even that good in the Crucible, and I absolutely shredded people. But, um, well, back in the day I wasn't, now I'm pretty, pretty okay. I used to be better and, you know, just kind of stopped playing from time to time, my skill decayed, so, you know. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of restart with the Destiny 2. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be that hard to get into it since it plays more kind of like Call of Duty or no more like Halo It plays a lot like Halo, which I like a lot Like heavy ammo or power weapons are kind of like one of those things that spawn every two to five minutes And you grab it only one person gets to use it kind of like in Halo And it can range from anything to a shotgun to a rocket to a grenade launcher just anything you want But anyways, I'm getting a little off topic so back to Destiny 1, I think it was around after uh, the after all the stuff got patched, we we ended up having to do the raid legit, which means that you know you couldn't push people off cliffs and whatnot. And I think that was around the time of the Dragon's Breath, and I would like the new Crota raid actually, and I was like, oh that that rocket shoots solar grenades, that'd be really good against the Templar. And then hey, by the way, we we patched that, and I'm like, oh well, that, there goes that idea. I was gonna have like I was thinking about doing like a bunch of people getting together using the dragon's breath all on the Templar and just pushing him off rocket after rocket after rocket. Thought that'd be kind of fun, but um, they patched it so oh well no big deal. And then um, I just I remember the first time I soloed Crota's raid, and I would always try to help other people who couldn't do it. Like I remember I think I had a friend or two that would. Just he would be completely under leveled, had no good gear, and I remember just helping him out, uh, getting a bunch of my other friends together, and we'd run him through the vault, run him through Crota's raid, run him through Crucible to get him some better gear and whatnot. And I just remember those good times, kind of like you know, this is kind of what um, led up to me streaming uh, Trials carries, um, which was just I I just enjoyed helping people, um, helping people out, making sure that they they got a little bit of fun because they couldn't do it by themselves because they just they just weren't you know simply put good enough to for for the level cap and the skill cap that you know trials or the raids required you know such you know coordination and if you get enough people to carry that one person it 
it it means a lot to the person in general just the amount of happiness and just pure joy and the ecstatic just happiness just coming out of them the first time they get that vex mythoclast or something like that and they're like the lowest light level and they're like oh my god i got the vex mythoclast and i'm like i envy you <laughs> because um speaking of the vex i remember the first and i think only time i got it no i think i got it one one or two other times was it was christmas day midnight so it's midnight on christmas day uh or christmas eve i, I say i say christmas day but it's like between Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and it's midnight, and I was um, I was playing the raid with my buddies, and we were struggling hardcore, like holy Jesus, like we could not do it for the life of us. And I was like, no, and I I, I wanted to persist through it because we got all the way up to Atheon, and I'm like, we are not stopping now. It's Christmas. We're finishing this. This is where it ends. And we ended up doing it right at midnight. We killed Atheon. I got the Vex class, and I remember just screaming at the top of my lungs, YES! And my mom <laughs> came upstairs and was like, what the hell are you doing? And I'm like, oh, uh, I'll go to bed now, thanks. <laughs> and I had my grandparents, uh, they were over at the time, and I think my grandpa, my grandfather heard me, and he was like, he, he didn't like wake up or anything, but I woke up uh, the next morning. And I was like, hey, did you hear me scream at all, like, last night? And he said, yeah, I remember hearing, like, a woo or something like that. I was like, yeah, that's my bad. Hey, did I wake up, Grandma? He said, no, no. She was sound asleep. And I was like, okay, that's good. But he was he was really calm about it. That was kind of funny. And um, my mom was uh, not not the same way. She was a little, little frustrated at the fact I was playing video games at 12 o'clock at night on Christmas. But, hey, you know, you got to do what you got to do for that grind life. But um, that was one of the things that I, I kind of do enjoy and not really miss too much about the first year was the intense amount of grinding you had to do for just that one weapon with that perfect roll. Like, you can kind of walk around that nowadays with the really nice rolls that the vendors have at the tower and everything, ranging from hand cannons to pulse traps to auto rifles. They generally have very, very good versions of those weapons that you can just buy instead of like grinding for for hours so um uh, other than that um geez what other good moments have i had in destiny um off the top of my head i can't really think of much but i just remember having a lot of fun in year one year two was pretty good um, and then when the Rise of Iron came out in year 3, that was a lot of fun. That actually got a few of my friends who'd fallen away from Destiny back into it. And, I mean, the Taken King was good, but I don't think of, like, I had a bunch of guys saying that, like, oh, yeah, it was alright, but I mean, like, eh. And then the, um, Rise of Iron came out and they were like, it's kind of like Taken King, except not really, but it's, 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 it's not bad. It's not bad. And I was like, okay, I'll take it. But, um... It was a lot of fun. I think the most amount of fun I ever had in that game was playing Crucible uh, with with my buddies from school um, and just screwing around in trials, doing dumb, ridiculous loadouts that should never have worked and surprisingly did. And just I just remember those good moments, and it's just stuff that you you know you hold on to later in life and you remember. And you know it's something you know take them out and get a beer with them for you know just good times all around. Just. Just good times all around. But, um, for my final words to Destiny, the, the game that really brought me together with a bunch of people that I never thought I would ever, you know, be brought together with in such a, such a, you know, kind of creative and fun way. So, um, just, just thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bungie, for the amazing game that you put out, that you tire tirelessly worked on, to keep working for us, especially when days when it would it would be you know a holiday or Christmas or something, and you guys would be there making sure the servers wouldn't go down or you know some dumb hacker wouldn't try you know going around messing up the servers like most people generally do on Christmas and whatnot. But um, thank you so much for the fantastic experience that you gave to me and so many of my friends like Mock G Man, Power Edits. Uh, Frank Omnivore, Assault 6, I mean, I, the list goes on, um, and just, I, I really, 
really cannot say like how much I really do thank you for the amazing game that you guys put out and I am really really looking forward to Destiny 1 and what you guys have offered for us and so far it looks like the Destiny game that we've always wanted from the beginning stories cutscenes you know just an actual story that makes sense you don't have to go read grimoire cards which I mean it was, it was like okay for like some of the diehard fans but for people like me who you know would go watch Bife or something to figure out what uh, what half of the stuff meant you know it wasn't wasn't as enjoyable but still cool concept could have worked at could have worked it out better but I think you guys have really hit it home with Destiny 2 and then the game hasn't even come out yet and from like all the leaked audio files and everything that we've been hearing it you guys really are tell not telling us a lot about this game and that is one thing that I am really really excited for and really thankful for just thank you guys I wish all the Bungie employees the best of luck with Destiny 2 and I would just like to leave it off that note and say thank you guys so much for supporting me and my channel uh, we're at 71 right now, which, you know, we came from nothing, and now we're at 71, and, you know, I, you know, this was never really about the views of the subs, this was just about having fun, and I've, I think I thoroughly accomplished that, um, and with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, um, I will start posting more Destiny-related content in the future, however, I've just moved in, and, uh, my, my, my room's still a wreck, and my, my setup's pretty bad, I mean, you could probably hear my computer humming in the background, and it sounds like a truck right now, and I hate it. But um, I will, I will get it fixed later when I have more room. But right now, this is this is the way it is because this is just what works. So um, I do thank you guys so much again, and I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. And I hope you guys truly enjoy yourselves with the Destiny 2 beta and all the other games that are soon to come out recently. And with that. Hope you guys have a good one. I'll catch you in the next time. Peace out.